And like just that progression of being a little kid, like wanting to play metal and, you know, meeting Frank Mullen, who just wanted to listen to Celtic Frost. And like, you know, <laughs> so where'd you meet like, Frank? Where'd you meet like, Frank? I told him, oh, that was what he wanted. You know, that was his that was his thing. So meeting them and having the kids in school and being able to like. Just Did you guys all go to school together. Well, me and Frank ended up going to school like for me over here. Like our like after ninth grade is high school. Mm-hmm. So in tenth grade, I met Frank, but he had moved from a different school district, so he wasn't like. And like we met in school there, you know, and we've been friends ever since. Obviously, fuck yeah, but, uh, yeah. I mean, that was when like the form the band was like kind of formulating with each other and trying to find different members. It was like I ended up meeting Cerrito and Mike Smith and shit like that from his old school district and we would go and play battle of the bands at their school district even though me and frack now were from my school district yeah so is there a project that you guys had before suffo that you give well, there, was, there was so many different ones it's like hard to even you know nothing like really got off the ground we were yeah kids, you know so everybody was kind of jamming with each other and it's like even like christmas seal from pyrexia guy josh fucking you know a whole bunch of different people. Like we all intermingled with each other so much. Like at that point in time, there really wasn't like a fully solid band. But one day me, Josh and Frank were in the studio. I mean, not in the studio, in the mall. And we were hanging out and like in the food court where we knew all the little fucking hoodie girls that were there. And, you know, we, we fucking all just be mall rats and shit. Mm-hmm. And, you know, he just was like, hey, why don't you just name it suffocation? It was like, oh, okay. And that, that was that. Like, it's uh, kind of fucked up. Damn. <laughs> Just in a food court. That's yeah, in a food court of the fucking mall. We, mall we used to go, go through the uh, mall and fucking go through, like, all the security exits and then go through those doors and go down inside the fucking mall into the boiler rooms and shit and smoke weed as little dirtbag kids. It was called Zappa's Dungeon. <laughs> and it was fucking crazy. Fuck Damn. yeah, dude. Yeah, so, well, so this is in this is in uh New York City proper. Prenatal suffocation <laughs> infant days. Is it where but where are you guys at? Well, like what part of New York? Uh in Long Island, out here, man. Oh, okay. Is, is it were you in Suffolk County? Suffolk yeah, County? Suffolk. <laughs> Suffolk. <laughs> <laughs> so County, man. But, I mean, yeah. so you're still in high school when you named it suffocation yeah. fuck Damn. dude Holy so okay fuck. so when when does it get uh serious enough to where you're getting into the reincremation demo well that was like all right human waste and reincremated the demo like right, the reincremated actual, sorry they were all kind of being done at the same time which is fucked up because human waste actually came out before the demo did no you know what I mean? shit. EP. So in like 1990, 1991, you know, is really when Reincremated came out. But that's also like when, also when Effigy came out later, you know, like, mm-hmm. so it was like we were working on a demo and we had that in production with Human Waste re recorded. And Human Waste came out before the demo did because we were just tape trading that. You know what I mean? Like yeah. to everybody we could. We were lucky we could even do anything. We had all of our tape decks going. Buying fucking TDKs and shit. Yep. Or, you know, I got the last wave of that shit. I was still in the cassettes yeah. right I mean, at the end of it. It was a little different back then. Now it was, it's not like you just post a flyer to Instagram and Facebook and fucking, you know, have to. That's how you totally do. Like literally, we were just like mailing tapes to motherfuckers all the mm-hmm. time. You know, so physical copies were actually the, the best thing to have. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so from that point on, man, we were just kind of gung ho on things, and you know it was really tight because, you know, like back then, underground bands nobody gave a shit. It's like, you know, we were lucky if there was a scene, there wasn't a lot of attention and shit like that. But I'm happy we did it all through school, and I'm happy I was able to stick with these guys. You know, most really. definitely, dude. I mean, to say that that Suffocation is the band you started in high school, like. It's fucking that it's just blows my fucking mind, dude. 